Hi, Herlock Elementary friends and families. It's Miss Stoops here for your activity time today. Today we are going to be completing a rainbow volcano. This is something that I haven't done before either, so we're going to be learning together on how to best do this activity. If you would like to do this activity along with me at home, there's a couple ingredients that you'll need to gather. The first is baking soda. Next, is vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar because it's what I have in my cabinet. Next is food coloring. I have some gel food coloring and some regular liquid food coloring because that's just the kinds that I have to make the colors of the rainbow. So we're going to try both. You also need some sort of um, a small bowl or container. I have these clear cups that I'm going to use today so that you can see it. If you don't have clear cups and just want to do it in some shallow bowls, you may do that as well. I just wanted to make sure that it was clear for the demonstration purposes. You're also going to need some sort of a tray with a lip to make sure to gather anything that might erupt from these volcanoes. You could also do this activity outside um, but it is not very nice outside this morning so I had to do my activity inside. So make sure you gather all of those ingredients and now let's get started on the different steps. So step one is going to be to get your little cups and you're going to get your baking soda and you're going to put some baking soda inside of your cup. Um, you can fill this as much as you like. Just make sure to leave some room. So I'm doing about two scoops, maybe three scoops, <laughs> to make it about halfway to three quarters of the way full. Okay. Now I've lined up all of mine in a line and you don't have to do this many. I'm just choosing to do all the colors in the rainbow. So I need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right, next is the fun part. We have to start adding the colors. So let me spin it around so that you can see the different colors that I'm putting in. All right, friends, here is my tray with all of my different cups. I kind of started putting um, some food coloring in them, but you guys are going to have to help me with the rest because I got stuck. So I have red, yellow, blue, and green food coloring, and I want to make a rainbow. So if you remember from announcements a couple weeks ago, I taught you the rainbow song. It was red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Don't forget there's purple too. Put those colors in a row. That's how you make a big rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Don't forget there's purple too. So the first color I put in was red. That was easy because I have red. Now the next one I want to make orange. Um, how do I make orange using these four colors? If you guessed put a little bit of red and some yellow, you're right. So what I'm going to do is I put my red in there already. I'm going to take some drops of yellow and put it all around. Maybe one on top for good luck. Okay, so red, orange, yellow. This one's easy. Just going to put some drops. Yellow. Next is red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, and blue. All right, here's where I need your help again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. How do I make purple using blue, yellow, green, and red? You're right, I need to put some red. All right, and I also need to put some blue in there to make a purple. All right, all of my colors are set. It's time to add the vinegar. All right, everyone, are you ready for this next step? We are going to create our rainbow volcano. Now, since we are doing a science experiment, it is important to wear protective eye gear. I don't have any of my science goggles at home, so these snazzy glasses are going to have to do. So now what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna take your vinegar and you're gonna pour it on top of all of your containers to see the rainbow. Are you guys ready? All right, I'm so excited. Here we go. some more vinegar in. Woohoo! We made a rainbow! Wow, friends, that was just awesome. Thank you so much for doing science with me today. I wonder if you'll have any different results. It seems that our red, our yellow, green, blue went really well, but the colors that we had to mix didn't go as well. I wonder if you'll have any more luck with it. Do you think that you have an idea that you could share that would make this better next time? Remember, that's all about science and what science is, is it's doing an experiment, making a prediction, doing an experiment, and then seeing what happens afterwards. When you see what happens afterwards, you should always go back and try and see if you can fix it or make it better. Make sure to complete this experiment on a tray because when the volcano erupted, we saw that it went everywhere and you don't wanna make a mess at home. Thank you guys so much for turning, tuning in to today's activity. I loved being able to share it with you. Miss you all and love you all so much and hope to see you soon. Bye everyone!